welcome to Linux Hive tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install vCenter server in Windows Server 2012 R2 and we can also see how to add the ESXi host to the vCenter server. Here is the Windows Server 2012 R2. Now open the file explorer. For installing the vCenter server, first you need to download the ISO image file from the VMware official site. The 60 days evaluation pack is available in VMware official site. You can register and download the vCenter server. After downloading, copy this file to the Windows Server 2012 R2. Now mount the image. And after mounting, you can see the files that are available in the vCenter. Now click the auto run. And now here you can see the VMware vSphere vCenter installation is open. Now click install to continue. Now give next. Now accept the license agreement. And here you can see the, the two deployment ways are available, which is the embedded deployment that is by default is selected. And the second one is the external deployment. If you want to install the vCenter server in a separate mission, you can use the external deployment to install only the vCenter server. If you want to install the embedded platform service controller on the vCenter server, you can select the first option. Now select the embedded deployment. In this survey we can install the vCenter server and the embedded platform services controller. Now click next. Now provide the system name as your IP address or you can enter the fully qualified domain name. Now click next and you can see the vCenter single sign on domain name. By default it is vSphere.local. You can change or keep the default domain name. And the sign on username is administrator. And provide the password for the administrator account. And confirm the password. Now the site name is by default. It is default first site. I am going to give it as first site. And now click next. You need to meet the following requirements to go to the next step. Now click next. Here you can see the vCenter service account. You can use the Windows local system account or you can specify a user service account for the vCenter server. I am going to use the Windows local system account. Now click next. And for the database settings you can use the external database or you can use the embedded database that is available in the vCenter server. Now click next. And for port configuration, you can leave it as default. And now click next. This is the destination directory for the vCenter installation. You can change or keep the default destination. Mm. Now click next. If you want to join the VMware customer experience improvement program, you can enable this. Now click next. Now you can see the review of your settings for the vCenter server installation. Now click install. Now the installation has started. This will take some time. Now the installation is completed. Now scroll down and click finish. Now we can open the web browser. Now open a new tab and enter your IP address. Now give enter. Now you can see the VMware home page. Now select the vSphere web client. Now click advance and proceed. Now here you can see the vSphere web client login page. Now enter your username with your domain name. Administrator at vSphere.local Now enter the password. Now click login. Now we can see how to add a host to the vCenter server. For adding the host to the vCenter server, first you need to create the data center. Now select the data centers. And now click new data center. And give name for the data center. Now click OK. Now the new data center is created. Now we can see how to add the ESXi host 
Now click add a host. Now enter the IP address of the ESXi host and click next. Now enter the username and password for the host and click next. Now click yes. Now you can see the host information. There are three virtual machines that are added to the host. Now click next. Now select the evaluation license and click next. Now configure the lockdown mode. I am going to keep it as disabled and click next. And you can select the data center for the VM location and click next. Now click finish to add the new host. Now you can see the status here. Now it is completed. And now you can see the DSXA host is added to the data center. And you can see the three virtual machines. In this video, we saw how to install the vCenter server. And we also saw how to add the ESXi host to the data center. We can see more about the vCenter server in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel to watch more tutorial videos from us.